Good morning, everyone. It is 28 degrees here in Colorado. The sun has just risen here in the Alpine Boreal Forest. Now, uh, I'm gonna compile a few teachable moments in this video. There's a handful of things I wanna talk about. Um, but, uh, and so I'll just kinda go over several topics today. Uh, but I am in an Alpine Boreal Forest. Now that's important because Boreal Forest and Alpine Boreal Forest are different. Tundra and Alpine Tundra are different. So I'm gonna show you some of those things right now. Here in the Rocky Mountains, uh, it's a fantastic place to look at alpine habitats and ecotones. So I'm gonna mention several of those. So you see out there where the trees end and then it is, it is you know, snow-capped mountains above that. Now, that edge between habitats is called an ecotone. Okay, and it's a very, very diverse place. Those are very important to maintain. Now, uh, what you're seeing here is alpine boreal forest. And uh, if we look at this uh, you know, ridge over here, you can see that right there, that hard, dark line on the mountain, that's, where the, that's what we call the tree line. That's where the alpine boreal forest ends. And then alpine tundra begins after that. Now, alpine refers specifically to mountains. If the elevation of the mountains is what creates these habitats and the rain shadow effect, which I'll include on the back end of this video, that, you know, moist air comes up these mountains and that moisture is lost, comes down as snow, and then it continues to wash over the Rocky Mountains. And so there are places that have heavy, heavy snowfall, like where I'm at. You can see there's, there's snow all over the place, right? So here, up in this high altitude, we're getting a lot, of, a lot of snow, right, because of that rain shadow effect. Now, the rest of Colorado, like not all of Colorado looks like that, okay? It's the elevation that creates this diversity of habitat. So there is the, the alpine boreal forest, or mountain boreal forest and alpine tundras up there or mountain tundras it very very similar habitat created by the altitude not necessarily by the latitude all right guys i'm here in hoosier pass in colorado on the way from denver to breckenridge and uh so this is uh walking through the snow here um but i wanted to take this opportunity to reteach a concept called rain shadow so you see this beautiful snow-capped mountain behind me and when the phone focuses you can see the clouds right there at the peak coming over now what's happening is moist air air that has water in it is being forced up the side of the mountains and it's being pushed up and of course the water condenses and it snows that's why it's snow up there all year round in fact there's snow here where i'm standing it's because i'm up in the mountains now and i'll move around so you can see how far the horizon is and you can see just how high up I am. That, that's mountains down there. So obviously I am experiencing the rain shadow effect and I've got it for you live right here on camera. Man, it's a privilege to teach. I love this stuff. More to come.